what are we doing today? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> that would be a fun vlog. <laughs> what are we doing today? Clean this kitchen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What else are we doing though? Go to the park, take pictures. Take pictures of what? Food. What kind of food? Food. Fresh handcrafted pasta yeah. kind of food? Yeah. So these were painstakingly made yesterday. Um, as you may already know, or you might not if you're new here, or if you just decided to stumble upon this out of nowhere, Francesco here is a bit of a pasta master. A bit. Bit of a pasta master. What do you do? I make pasta. So what have we got here? Talk me through this. Orecchiette. Mm -hmm. Little ears. Little ears in Italian. For farfalle. Which means butterflies. Yeah, a little bit of shit. So these are all made with fresh <clears throat> dough that was made yesterday because today we are going to be shooting some new summer menu dishes for Francesco's company, Pasta. And um, I will put their Instagram somewhere here and I will drop the link to the website below as well so you can see and purchase the lovely things he crafts if that's your kind of thing. Um, so what are we gonna do with these? What, what are they getting dressed up in today? <clears throat> Um, just fresh ingredients, vegetables, olive oil, cherry tomatoes, basil, oregano, stuff like that, like a summer concert and seitan bacon. Nice kind of light, light stuff and seitan bacon, um, which hopefully we'll get some shots of later, kindly um, provided to us by our friend at, at Roots, at Roots. Catering UK. You have a lovely angelic glow behind that microphone of hair there, beautiful. Um, so these are these all made with the kind of vegan dough or are some of them regular <coughs> old? So these are standard pasta fresca. I don't know why that's focusing so much on my finger. There you go. So these are made with literally just eggs, salt, olive oil and double zero flour or even flour. And these are made with nothing but semolina and water, which is pretty crazy to me because once they're cooked and everything, they have the most gorgeous texture. So I'm really excited to cook with these later. Let's do it. As for me, I am doing a bit of experimental baking as always. Um, so you've seen the lemon raspberry muffins that we had for breakfast this morning. Um, they are available in my little breakfast book ebook, which I will also link in the description below, or they will probably be on my blog sometime soon. They're very good. They're really fluffy. The raspberries stay nice and juicy. They're not too kind of like sweet and heavy and cakey like the Starbucks muffins are, but they still have that big kind of satisfying girth that you like from a muffin top. <laughs> so other than that, I've been doing a little bit of experimenting in here in this incredibly full fridge. <laughs> Um, just in this tin here. Now we're gonna take it out and see if it's actually worked. This is planning on being a brownie bottom cheesecake. So up to like here, we have brownie and the remaining amount is cheesecake. So we're gonna get it out and see if it's actually worked. I think this is gonna come out of here cleanly because I have my suspicions that it's not. <laughs> I'm scared the brownie is gonna have stuck to the side or something. So the brownie is obviously baked, but I decided not to go with a baked cheesecake. It's just a standard kind of whipped, fridge set British 1970s style cheesecake. So um, let's get it out. Oh, we might be okay. Yes. Okay, we have a little kind of edge tidying up to do because some of the brownie crumbs have transmitted, but you know what? Doesn't look too bad. Looks amazing. We need to decorate it and stuff and obviously taste it. Um, so yeah. So I'm very happy to announce we managed to get out of the tin safely and we managed to get onto a plate safely and she's looking kind of pretty. So we still need to slice in and see what it tastes like before I'm gonna put the recipe online or anything like that. But um, just to kind of let you know what we decorated it with, um, these are just some Calabao chocolate chips, kind of a nice affordable, sustainable chocolate. Um, not the sort of the best quality craft chocolate, but it's still much better than a lot of the stuff you can get in supermarkets. Also, because it's strawberry season, it only felt right to throw on some strawberries. We have some Tony's chocolate only bars. This is the almond honey nougat one in the yellow wrapper, one of my favorites. We also have some leftover Dove chocolate, which I'm actually not a huge fan of, but we had it and I thought it did look kind of pretty. We have some hazelnuts and just a few kind of dollops of Nutella just for some color contrast there. So I'm kind of happy with it. So I'm gonna take some pictures. I might even upload a little TikTok because I'm apparently 15 years old and 
then we're gonna taste it. Meanwhile, Francesco is an absolute mean cooking machine over here with every vegetable under the sun, including that seitan bacon that we were talking about. And it's getting steamy. It's getting steamy in the kitchen. Home, we've had our little kind of party, party picnic photo shoot. Were you happy with everything? Yeah, ready. And after shooting extensively some vegan dishes in the park, we're now doing a distinctly un-vegan task of jointing a chicken because we're gonna roast it because it's a Sunday and why not? Um, we think we're gonna have it with some kind of roasted peppers. We have a little bit of tomato sauce left over, maybe a bit of couscous or something because there's a lot going on in the cupboard. So yeah, that's that's the Sunday night vibes. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's good. 